Are you excited about today's uh, Eagle de deployment? Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, it's wonderful uh, to see um, an animal that has been able to be rehabilitated and um, that can be released into the wild. It's, it's always really special. So yeah, I'm very excited. It was brought to us on January 11th. It was very depressed, it wasn't eating, and the prognosis was not good. Among the diagnostics that we did is the lead levels. Lead levels in bald eagles are getting to be a significant problem, and about 50% of the eagles that come into people now tend to have lead toxicity. Lead is an element, and so there is no half-life. It doesn't actually disappear over time. We usually measure blood lead in parts per billion, and so uh, clinical signs usually in all species will start around 300 or 350 parts per billion. So I think the eagle, the highest concentration we had was around 1,000 parts per billion. The bald eagle will eat birds and other prey that have been shot. Maybe even have some lead in them from swallowing uh, because they're carrion eaters. And once it gets into the eagle, then it breaks down in their GI system and then the lead is absorbed and it goes into the bone and into the blood and it causes neurologic signs and they can get really sick and many of them will die unless they are found. Actually, this might be perfect because he can go to these trees. All right. do it right in this center area and just let him go Is that close there. enough to a tree, you think? Okay. Yeah, I think so. All right. And he's going to be a little worn out because we banded him and you know, caught him and banded him. Okay. And he's, he'll probably be a little stressed. Um, a lot of people don't realize how much lead ammunition fragments when it hits a target. And so it goes 17 inches from the entry point and some of that is microscopic. So it doesn't take much to poison a bird like an eagle. Maybe two or three pieces the size of a BB can cause serious problems. Now don't drop that in front of the cameras, guys. I'm joking, I hope you know that. <laughs> It's been my experience, you know, once they show clinical signs, the chance of recovery is not that great. Lead's a, still a, even it's an old metal, but it's still, you know, the Romans were affected by that because they used lead in a lot of their water distribution systems, and the lead that was there is still there and, you know, caused issues there, caused issues at that time, and we still, still see issues now, unfortunately. Oftentimes, when you open a crate, the bird doesn't necessarily just jet out. <laughs> Sometimes they have to be coaxed out, so hopefully we won't have to literally push him out the, out the door, but that's a possibility. So we'll just see what happens. All right, his name is Spar. Wish him luck. There is no safe level of lead at all. We've taken out our paint. We've taken it out of gasoline. We need to take it out of ammunition. Come on, bud. She's facing the other way. Come on. He's facing the back of the crate. <laughs> there we go. Yes! After two months of working with this bird, seeing that bird release so well, it was, it was wonderful. One of the best releases I've ever seen. It was really exciting and a good, good attendance today and a lot of support. Very successful day and I'm just appreciative that I was involved and that our students could be involved and in, in, to see the whole process.